Hey guys, this is just one piece of a multi-part course on assembling a Moho production. If you'd like to follow along with me and create a cartoon from start to finish, you can check out the course on ToonFiles.com. Link is in the description. We're now going to go in and add in camera movements to help build up energy with this scene. Because right now everything's sort of stationary and pulled back. And I think we could do a little bit more to spice things up. And this will probably be the last major thing we do with this. We might go back and do some polishing near the end here. But after this, we should have all the major components in place for the scene, which will then allow us to move on to the third and final scene, except for the exterior shots where we have the chase occurring. But we're just going to come in now and make sure we bring everything back that needs to be brought back so that way we can see the scene as intended. So we have everything brought back here now. I'm just going to hide the filter layer. And it's going to be a little bit difficult to come in with this because we can't really play it at full speed. But it should allow us to at least get a good idea here. And then once we render it out, we'll be able to see even more what we plan to do here. So I'm just going to make sure we have the Chad character brought back in as well, just like that. So we have the alien come walking in. I so if we come back here, we have the shot of Chad hanging, and then we have the alien come walking in. I'm not sure if we really need anything. We could have a camera sort of panning along following the alien into the shot to kind of add some more excitement. But I do want to also establish this room. And I don't have a whole lot of time to do that. So I don't want to be doing a lot of cuts and pans within this first three seconds and throw everyone off. I want to give the audience just a chance to sort of take in what's going on here. And we can then do some other camera movements after that. I will ask you only once more, where is the serum? So when he says, where is the serum, maybe we should do a close-up where he aims the gun. Once more, where... So perhaps at 138, we could do that. Let's grab the track camera tool. Click once on the scene to establish a key. And we're just going to go one frame up so that way we are on 139 and I can come in now and using the Z property of the camera, we're just going to push this in a little bit. And as you can see, as I'm doing this, we kind of get that van in shot, which isn't a bad thing. Let's just see how that looks first. Where is the serum? And, and I might hide the van during that. We'll see. But let's just concentrate on the camera right now and then we can focus on that near the end. Where is the serum? So right after he says that, I'm going to do a pan over to Chad. So at 198, I'm going to insert a key with the camera. And let's say at 206, so a little bit into the dialogue, we can just pan over. Just like that. And we want to make sure that we keep this all within the bounds of where it needs to be. Obviously, we have some things going on here with the background now with the space background since we are doing these pans and we have some issues with the arms connecting with the chains but again we're going to focus on that stuff next we're going to just keep going right now with the camera movements and i'm going to tell you one more time you abducted the wrong guy i just make animation tutorials okay so right after that dialogue let's cut back to the establishing shot here kind of like this and we're going to show the lightning now we're going to do just a little bit of a closer shot perhaps maybe just like this so you can kind of have that going on now and actually that might be a little bit too close, so we're just going to go back to that frame and kick it out a little bit more. Something about like that should be fine. 
I just really want to show off that effect. Okay. So at 396, we're going to add another key and we'll do another zoom in on the alien when he's talking. So about like that. That was the low setting. Let's go 444. We'll add a key. And then at 456, we can do the pan over. I don't know what to tell you, dude. So we have that line, and then let's insert a key at 492. And we're going to go just one frame in to do a quick cut back to default here. So let's come in like this and bring it back in. And we can zoom out a little bit more. So about like that. A serum now! I have I have some uh, vitamin D in my pocket here. Uh, would that work? So now we have the gun powering up. And that's what we're going to do a close-up. And remember before I was talking about doing a whole new scene for this, but we don't need to. We're just going to pan in on this here. Make sure we just zoom in. So we got a pretty good close up there. So it's gonna vroom. And again, it's hard to tell because we can't really see that transition with those layers, but we have the lights going from green to red. And at 672, we can just kind of bring this back. So we'll add a key at 672 and then at 673, just zoom out to show the characters again. Last chance. I always knew it would end this way. Abducted from my office while recording tutorials and tortured by aliens, just like Grandpa. I want to leave that shot as is because I want to show the van. We could do a close-up of Chad while he's talking there. It wouldn't be inappropriate to do that. But since we do want to show the audience that there's something going on outside of the ship, we do want to keep the focus here as wide as possible and as interesting as possible. So we'll just keep it like that. And then we have the zoom out effect. And I don't really think we need to do anything else with the camera pans there because we want to show the whole thing. We'll show his reaction and the van and all that. So really, we just have the pans at the beginning. We have the close-up of the power-up of the gun. We have close-ups of when the characters are talking. And we do have a few things that we need to correct. We have the van in the distance right here. We don't want that. The space background is sort of off alignment when we pan around. And the distance is not working with the chains here. You can see that as we zoom in and do different things, it's throwing it off and making it look like it's not a part of the rig. So there are a few things we need to correct here, in addition to, to some other minor polishing techniques. So we're going to pause here, and up next, we'll dedicate this next video to polishing up all the little areas that need to be polished before we move on to the next scene. If you'd like to learn all about character animation, assembling dialogue with your scenes, piecing scenes together, creating particle effects, and so much more, be sure to check us out on toonfiles.com. Link is in the description.